Warning, the following video contains a fuckload of swearing. If this makes you uncomfortable in any way, please fuck off this video. So last episode I said I was hoping to sign Sammy Amiobi, and I went to check my transfer budget and it said £34, so I thought, well, instead of buying Sammy Amiobi, why don't I just be a fucking legend and buy a cheeky Nando's? Oh wait, no, sorry, I didn't mean the food Nando's, I actually meant the player Nando's. So that's exactly what I did. I went and got Nando's, you know, and I put in a bit of 34 quid. Well, £35 to be exact. But yeah, I'm sure they'll accept it. Oh, okay, um, well, obviously not then. Oh, nice to see the uh, Conservative Party have bent me over and fucked me repeatedly. Oh, go on, David Cameron, you know, shove those tax changes where I need them up my... Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. Fuck. See, it's nice that Burnley have offered me a new contract, but do I carry on? I don't know. Like, I don't feel like I should carry on another season of this series until later on. But it's up to you in the comments. I'm going to put in the comments what you think. Oh, sorry, I've already signed the contract. Well, to incorporate myself into the club a bit more, I decided to introduce Secret Santa uh, at Burnley. And so all of us put our names in the hat, and uh, I got Stephen Reed. And I've been struggling because I didn't know what to actually get Stephen Reed for Christmas. Uh, so I, I started asking a few people, and they gave me some good suggestions. So at the end of the day, I gave him a free transfer. <laughs> so our first game of the episode is our only European tie of the season, which is away at Swansea. No way, we have a penalty after a minute! One nil! It's Kylie is two! Chris Proud's Burnley Army. I swear to God, if we go into halftime 2 0 up, I'm going to cry because 2 0 is the worst scoreline ever in FM history. Fuck off. Okay, we're 2 1 up at halftime. It's not 2 0, which I was worried about, so that's alright. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, the fuck off, you stupid fucking cunt, you stupid cunt, fuck shit cunt, fuck. <laughs> Okay, I didn't really take that too well, did I? So next, we're off to Anfield. Brilliant. Whoa, let's go get beaten. Oh, nice to see the uh, game as realistic as ever. But yeah, I'll stick a 10 on myself to win this game at 7-1. to Oh, great, here we go again. Rounded up to the nearest number, how many times has Raheem Sterling impressed me? Bakuna's in. Bakuna scores. He's taking Burnley into the Champions League. He scored again. Call him up to the Dutch national team because he is better than someone. Oh, great. My team's lost another lead. It's a good thing my team aren't dog walkers. <laughs> I swear I am going to kill something. Mario Sordatelli! It's 3 3. I'll take that result. It wasn't a win, but it's good enough. I am so glad that my work with Marvin Sordell is finally being recognised. And we've also signed the next greatest left midfielder since Junior Hoylet. But yeah, now we go into our next game against Middlesbrough. Oh, I never liked the FA Cup anyway. We have a penalty again! And of course we equalise. One more at half time, I'll take that for now. Danny Ings, Danny Ings, Danny Danny Ings, da 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 Oh, for fuck's sake, can we not give me a heart attack for once? Well, we won that game. Not actually sure how. That's a very weird way to tell me that you love me, Danny Ings. And I I'm ill, I'm ill, I'm ill. 